Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you are following me along, you'll know who I am. If not, let me introduce yourself, myself, my, yourself. I'm not going to introduce you, am I? Um, I'm Leanne and I'm doing a weight loss journey. It is February now and I have just decided to do a video on a bit of a summary, I suppose, on where I am now and how I'm feeling and what it's like to have got this far and maybe this like I don't know just a general discussion really so I started my weight loss journey in last year in March it was the second week in March I think and I decided that enough was enough now for me enough being enough was that like, I hated buying clothes. I hated getting dressed up. Um, In true, all honestly, I probably, like, I hated myself, like, physically and health-wise and what I wasn't, I'm going to say wasn't, wasn't able to do. Um, The major factor for me as starting this weight loss journey was that I haven't been abroad on a plane on a holiday for almost 20 years. So that's before I've had both my children. I've always had a weight issue. And I just, like, after having children, I just couldn't afford to go. Um, There was other things in life that were taking over. Life's really complicated. And without even knowing, time passed. In that time, a lot of things happened, like, they were significant to me. And... I just forgot about myself, if I'm going to be quite frank, or oh, that's how it feels. I, <clears throat> time carried on passing, I've carried on putting on weight. Now, don't get me wrong, I've always been fat, like from a little kid. I was that kid that went to go and see the school nurse and she weighed me and told my mum that I needed to lose weight. From a really young age, I was taken to weight loss groups, varieties, uh, Weight Watchers, Slimming World. Over time, um, I have tried every diet under the sun, and I mean every diet. I've always been made to feel really insignificant, I suppose, or that's how it feels because of my weight. Um, it has massively, massively impacted me on so many levels that... For a long time, I chose not to acknowledge because it was just easier just to pretend that it didn't bother me. And to be fair, when you're facing something literally every day where your weight affects it, be it your self-esteem, clothes, whatever, jobs, friends, everything, it's easier just to ignore it and pretend it's not an issue and put a front on than what it is to actually face it. So what really, really hit home for me and was a massive turning point for me was the fact I love to travel and thinking about it and putting it in my head, my youngest daughter was like, I've never been on a plane. I wanted to allow her to do that and I didn't feel like I could for the basic fact, fact that I felt too fat to go on an aeroplane. I felt... I, I just felt like my arse would never, ever fit in that place seat. Never in a month of Sundays. Never mind the whole seatbelt issue, asking for extensions, all that. I, I The sheer embarrassment and everything surrounding that. I just wanted to avoid, like, the plague. And it, I'm quite a stubborn person that's quite driven and quite determined. And I'm I just got really annoyed with myself that... I was allowing my weight and basically what food I was putting in my mouth to affect my entire existence. There has been other influences on this, um, on my weight loss journey and starting it. I felt just too heavy walking around the Peak District. I love walking. I, I'd love to be able to be really active. And it just got to a point where that was really difficult. Now, although I did certain aspects of it, me and my partner would end up arguing during it because I get really upset and frustrated and feel really humiliated and really disappointed with myself. And it just got to a point of being really ridiculous. Um, I'm also coming up to 40. Yes, that's right. I said it. I'm getting old. 
and I just felt really fat. I'm 40 and health wise, I really need to consider what I'm doing. And I don't want to get to like being in my 40s and being really limited because I've let my health deteriorate so much. And I had a few health scares along with other lots of little things regarding it. It just got to a point where it was like, you, you've got to do something. Like, you you can do this in some fashion, so you've got to do something. So I had two clients that were doing Slimming World, and they've been quite successful, and they said it were really easy and stuff. I had done Slimming World before, but never really got on with it. I was absolutely adamant that I hated Slimming World, and that I hated the groups, and the concepts, and the consultants, and... I could find a thousand faults with that diet. Now, that being said, this journey is not like a Slimming World themed like push. This is me and my weight loss journey, however I choose to do it. So if I want a cheat day, I'll have it. If I want to go out and eat whatever I'm going to eat, I'm going to do it. If I want to try a different plan, I'm doing it. Exercise is separate. Everything, mental health, the lot is being pulled in here but at the start of this journey and throughout really I felt like I needed something to guide me I was absolutely lost weighing in at 20 over 25 stone it felt like I, I I didn't know where to go I didn't even know where to start it was just so overwhelming it's not so, like food's not something I've ever had a good relationship with I needed some boundaries put in place for me massively at that time because I just didn't know where to begin and it felt just so overwhelming and unachievable. So I, I signed up to this free 12-week plan that I got through Rotherham Healthy something or other. You do it online, you refer yourself, get healthy Rotherham, I think it's called, or something like that. And initially I signed up to stop smoking and losing weight. So I'm going to start on the stop smoking. I haven't stopped smoking. I've not achieved that. It just all felt too much all at once. And my head wasn't into it. And until my head's into it, I'm not going to do it. Also, my partner smokes and that makes that really difficult. So I chose to drop that at a point in my journey and focus on my weight loss first. However, that being said, that will be picked up later because that is a massive issue for me. So I get this referral and me and my daughter went along to the first Slimming World group. I was absolutely terrified, like completely terrified. I didn't know how much I weighed. I got all these barriers in my head that I was like blaming everybody else for. Like, I hate Slimming World. I don't want to do that diet. It's expensive. I It's cringy. I, I'm not going to want that support. I find the groups useless. Everything like you could imagine. I didn't want to get weighed in front of somebody. I didn't like the concept that different people weighed you. All these things were a reason why I shouldn't be doing this. And everything in my mind was saying, don't do it. But there was just that one thing that were like, just go and have the accountability. Even you, whoever you're getting weighed in front of, Sodom, it is what it is. And even if you don't stay to the groups or follow the plan, just use it as 12 weeks to get weighed and you're getting weighed on the same scales at the same time, the same everything. Let's just do this for 12 weeks and it'll make you stick to whatever it is you choose to do. So I got weighed and I'm not going to lie, I could have cried. Like literally could have cried, broke down, had this mini meltdown at the numbers on them scales and where my starting position was. Never in a, th a thousand years, like I was, I set myself then and there like mini goals of I just need to achieve this. I'd just like to get that. And the first big goal I set was that I wanted to lose five stone by September. I booked a holiday to go to Spain just with family, nothing massive. I paid extra for these seats because I thought I could make it easier for myself. <coughs> and if I could lose five stone from March till set um, September next year, I, that's that I'd be happier. Oh no, it went next year. It was like March to September, sorry. If I could do and achieve that or get as close to it as possible, I would brave it on that plane. I would be able to take my daughter on holiday and get rid of that mum guilt and I'd overcome some barriers myself and it was just something that I had to focus on. So I went on with my 12-week um, weight loss with Slimming World and that proceeded to carry on four months 
Um, I'm over the moon with what I've achieved with Slimming World. It's a fantastic plan. There's a lot of people that say it doesn't work and there's a lot of people that'll say it's not working for me anymore. There's a lot of person stuff online that's saying that it's a really crap diet and that a lot of it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to use like the banana situation. Like if you have one banana that's peeled and eaten just as it is, it's free. But if you mash it up or do anything, it becomes pointed or sinned. A lot of people say that that's stupid and aspects of that I completely agree with because the calories will be the same in that. But that isn't how Slimming World Plan is designed. It's designed to make you think about how much quantities of what you're eating. So if you put five bananas in front of me and I was to peel five bananas and eat them, I'd not really want to eat five bananas. So that would be that many calories, like how, say if I could just manage two bananas, I would have ended up with two bananas worth of calories rather than five bananas worth of calories because there's no way I would peel and eat five bananas in one sitting. However, you get yourself a smoothie jug and shove five bananas in there. Now, I'm not saying that that's not going to be a heavy, big smoothie, but the reality is I could achieve that. I could drink five bananas. So in that amount of time, I would actually be able to, and I'd not think about it being five bananas where I would never choose to just eat five bananas because that's ridiculous. So that's the concept of it. Um, the other thing is like free foods. Everybody goes on about carbs in terms of like potatoes, pasta, rice. You can eat unlimited amounts. You can. You're right, you can. On that plan, it says that. But stop trying to find like tweaks to it. There's also stipulation in this plan that each meal that you have, you should have at least a third speed food. Now, if you're putting a full pan of pasta on your plate and that's what you're going to eat, if you marry that with two pans fulls, equal quantities of lettuce, cucumber, tomatoes, whatever, veg, what steamed veg, whatever it is you're choosing to do, there is no way you would be able to eat that pile of plate. There's no way. So if you are following the concept that two thirds of your plate really should be like speed food or one third and one third protein, whatever it is, I don't know. Personally, I go with two thirds worth or try to on, depends how I feel really. But if you're only eating pasta and potato in huge quantities, you're right, it's not going to work. But this is about changing the way that you eat because that's how it is. And I know I've gone on to a different topic here and I've started ranting about Slimming World, but I, I was the biggest per like biggest person in more ways than one to sit here and say, oh, I hate the Slimming World diet. I don't like it. It doesn't make sense. It's crap. The groups are shy. You know what? I I've been to Slimming World now for 11 months. It's It's not. It's not. And it doesn't stop working. You're right. You have ups and downs and you wait. You will put on, you'll lose. Stuff will come up, you'll not feel like doing it. You'll have a week where you don't plan and you eat loads of rice and pasta and you'll not really lose anything. And But like two weeks later, you might lose six pound. And if you just keep plodding on and don't expect these miracle cures, then I think you'll be fine. That being said, I'm not all Slimming World. I am massively an uh, advocate for, there is no quick fix to weight loss. There isn't. There is simple rules that you're on a calorie deficiency and calorie counting works. I don't care what you say, it works. I personally can't be bothered right now to sit and weigh, measure and count every calorie. But that's not to say in a few months time that I might not choose to do that rather than Slimming World if that's what I choose to do at that time and that's what fits my lifestyle. Um, meal replacement, gastric bands, um, did you like injections, medication, um, Atkins diet, carnivore diet, whatever, vegan diets, whatever you choose to do, do you know if that works for you? Then ultimately that works for you. If you're doing a diet and you can honestly say that you are following it and doing it properly and that is working or not working or whatever, you just do what suits you and not every plan suits everybody. Weight Watchers might be better for somebody else. Or Slimming World might be better for somebody else. I don't know, Cambridge diet, uh, whatever you do is what I'm saying. Just do what's right for you. And I am not here. I am not an expert on this. I wouldn't be sat here saying I'm an expert on this and I wouldn't be trying to lose weight if I was. But what I can say is, you know, 11 months in, 
Don't just follow other people's paths. Don't look for a quick fix. Don't commit yourself to following somebody on YouTube that's telling you that if you eat 15 yogurts, uh, eggs a day and nothing else, that this is the way forward because it's too extreme. And that might work for a few days, maybe a week, but long term, that's not, it's not a way. It's got to be like a full commitment lifestyle change. And that is that. So although I do Slimming World and that is my plan of choice right now, it's not for everybody and you don't need to like commit to everybody else and whatever else. That being said, you do need to commit and doing something for like a week and then dropping it, you are not going to see that bigger a change. That's just fact. That's how our bodies work. So anyway, off I went on this journey and completely divulged that, but I don't know, I'm an Aries, it's what we do. It's crazy that I would ever rant about anything in terms of diets because I am so, he's a fat look. Uh, it sounds crazy, doesn't it? So anyway, off I goes on my journey. Up to September, I lost my, I got my five stone and off I went on my little plane trip. I went to Blaine's, Spain and the seatbelt fastened. I couldn't have an extender. That's a whole new video, which you can probably see if you go back, but the way I booked it, I'd booked these emergency seats at the front. You weren't allowed an extension there. I got the seatbelt fastened. My arse fitted in the seat. I was happy. I was slaying. This is something that I've not been able to do for years. So to me, that was the ultimate like, oh, I'm doing it. It's brilliant. At that time, I was in a jean size 18 to 20. Um, more 20, I would say, and I th I can't remember how much I weighed, I'm not going to lie, but whatever it were, um, that is me on that plane, and I did it, and I was so proud of myself, so I've come back, and I carried on with Slimming World, and I've continued to lose and gain, in my journey, I've had loads of ups and downs, things have gone horrendously wrong, yes, there was one week that I put on over a stern, and I'd love to say it's when I was on a holiday, but it wasn't. It was just a week that I was having a biatch fit, and I just didn't want to diet, and I put on over a stern, and that, sir, proper kicked me up the ass to realise that I needed to sort some crap out and get back on this, because there was no way that I was going backwards, no way. Um, I work really weirdly as well, so whatever my lightest weight is, if I put on weight, I act like I'm in debt and I don't like being in debt, so I feel like I've got to repay that, so it gives me absolute drive to pay that back as soon as possible, and then I do my weight loss in like half stern brackets, stern brackets, um, half, these are the awards that they give you, uh, dress sizes. I set myself a thousand goals and I quite enjoy it like that. It keeps me going. I do number crunch and I do enjoy looking at my stats and things. I'm really sad because I never ever measured myself when I first started my journey, although I did take a video, which I'm glad that I did. Um, but I have measured myself now and it's there and it's out there. I've not measured again because I've just been up and down and all over the place. However, I, it's there for when I've been another, maybe another six months and I'll measure myself again. I'm not really sure. So I started my journey, um, dress size 24, maybe sometimes 26. Everything I wore were really stretchy and oversized. So to say I had a dress size, it'd be a bit false, I suppose. I never wore fitted jeans. I would always wear like loose leggings and loose baggy tops, you know, like the tunics that come down to your knees. Um, nothing was fitted and I literally just oversized. But I'm saying I oversized everything. That was really difficult because nothing fitted me. My clothes choices were out of what I could, what was available, I'm going to be honest. She wore amazing, I'm going to be honest. That opened my eyes a lot. And I think part of Sheen is that because I was allowed to pick different styles freely, easily, without the embarrassment of going into shops, it kind of provoked me wanting to, I tried some like different styles and I wanted to wear different things, but nothing really looked good on me. I looked terrible with my shape. So that's another thing that we're a bit of a, like a spur on. I suppose like Sheena, I'm a bit grateful for because it's allowed me to have cheap clothes, try different um, styles without it being horrendously priced and not have the mortification around to go into the shop to buy them. I can just order them online and send them back, which is amazing. 
So everything was fine. Um, I carried on plodding on, like I said, up and down on the scales, but overall quite happy just to be plodding away at this and losing weight. Um, it came Christmas and I completely lost the plot. I'm not going to lie. I started eating. I got into Christmas mode. Everything just went downhill, like horrendous, like not, yeah, quite horrendously, actually. I kept putting weight on. I went losing weight. I was all over the place. So I decided to swap plans and go on to the new you plan for a short amount of time. Um, I still went to Slim World and got weighed. Well, I've still gone to Slim World and got weighed part out of support for my mum, but also support for myself because them groups do work and I like the consistency of getting weighed once a week on scales. It's a little bit expensive for that, I suppose, but is it if that's what's working? No, I prefer to pay it. I'm not bothered. The women in my group now are phenomenal, like unbelievable. When I start this journey, there is no way that I would ever, ever reflect and think that a group of women would ever bring to my life what these women have. So my consultant's good. I enjoy the time with her and she's lovely. But it's the group as a whole, like everybody. There's some people in there that have been kinder to me than anybody I've ever, ever been into contact with my entire life. They're also supportive. They're so knowledgeable. They'll pick you up when you're down. They're just... I, words cannot describe how amazing them groups are. So... My massive, like, bitter advice for sticking on this journey long term is find a group that you enjoy. So not all groups will be for you. Not all consultants will be for you. Shop around. You are not restricted to go to one. You don't just have to commit to one. If you're not enjoying it, go and find another one. If you're going to be going here once a week and spending time with these people, and these are going to be your ultimate support system, make sure it's people that are your people and that help you. And they truly do in my group. They are flipping amazing. Angela's the consultant and it's the Romosh um, group that I go to and I feel like I should give them a shout out. I'm not going to name names individually because there is some that I am just in love with. I could be adopted by them any day of the week but overall as a group they are amazing and I, I genuinely do care for them and I would miss them if I was not going. So I felt really guilty about going and doing the new you plan. I haven't actually told them that I'm doing it. Um, I've kind of, in my head, come to terms with, it doesn't really matter what, like, what I'm doing at home in terms of what I'm eating. I'm cho I've chosen the new you plan because at the minute I don't want to think about what I'm eating. I've got that much other stress and strain and stuff going on. Time's an issue. Shopping, time's an issue. Prepping, cooking, Fanning around and doing all them things are all an issue at the minute. So having packets that I can just eat and I know that my calories and everything there is okay to eat and that's like my limitation is really helpful for me because I don't have to think about it at a minute. That being said, I don't think it's a plan that I would... Well, you couldn't possibly do it for the rest of your life because you just continuously lose weight because I think you're eating like 800 calories a day. They do offer something called switching like a maintenance plan. I haven't really read up on that, so I don't know what it involves. But I think I'll do this for a bit, like I'm currently doing this now. And when it gets to the point where I'm fed up with it and I want to go back to conventional foods and that's what is what I need, I will probably jump back on the... Well, I will jump back on the Slimming World plan. Um, I'm aware that my weight loss is going to really plateau, that I'm going to really struggle and there's changes that I might have to make and I'm, I possibly might not end up on, do you know, like I might end up on a different plan, I'm not really sure but right now that is the plan and safety net that I've got forward which is another reason why I want to keep going to group because if one day I wake up and lose my crap with this new you plan, I know that I can pick Slimming World up really easily and there's stuff on there that I can cook that'll... I enjoy that I like that will stump any cravings that it's just so flexible and just so easy and I'm, it is just such an easy plan and it really works for me. So I went to group after my holiday weigh-in and yes I put weight on and there's a video about that but 
I received the award of Greatest Loser 2024. So I've just lost over eight stone since March. Um, I was handed this and in group, I'm not going to lie, I find it really difficult to concentrate on myself and talk about this weight loss thing outside of this video because I'm on my own. Um, it was really difficult. I do still cringe. I still feel really embarrassed. I still don't feel like I deserve this. Like, it's my fault that I was really fat. So to then have to lose all that weight, it feels unfair that then I get awarded for that. That I'm struggling with, but I think that's more me than anybody else. Everybody's really lovely and supportive. One of the members were crying out to get up and gear a love. She was really lovely. Everybody has just been amazing. I've actually, through exposure therapy, I've put this on my personal Facebook page and I've got loads of comments. Um, I don't usually talk about my weight loss to a lot of people that I'm not close to, but I think I need to start breaking that taboo and just not being as bothered and as conscious and trying to hide away because if it's in my face, then I've got to deal with it. And being honest, and it might just inspire and help somebody else. There's plenty of positives just from being open and honest. And that's generally how I live my life elsewhere. So that's what I've done with it. So I've had loads of comments on Facebook. Um, people being really nice and supportive and lovely. And I really do appreciate this. So now I'm going to say something that I never usually say, which is really weird for me. And I even feel uncomfortable thinking about saying it about myself. It's really weird. To receive this award is a massive deal for me. Now, I know it's just the greatest loser of 2024. Like, in your group, I completely understand that. But for me, when I started this journey at 25, well, over 25 stone, the thought of losing just a stone felt overwhelming. And I really doubted my ability to get anywhere with this. Like, anywhere at all. To, I got Miss Slinky um, before Christmas, which was really, really nice. But I don't know why, but this one just feels a little bit nicer. Probably because I'm just trying to reduce their numbers. And to be so overweight, like really ridiculously overweight, and to have got like recognition for the fact that I have lost a shit ton because... I have really, like eight stone is a person, not just like a kid, it's a person. And to have got this, I feel really happy, really humbled. Um, it's a little bit unreal in my head, if I'm going to be honest. It just don't feel like this is me and as the, this is what I, I could achieve. And it's almost like it's in paper and I'm writing, so I've kind of got to face it because I usually ignore and play down anything that I achieve like this. So to have it in front of me is mental, absolutely mental. The women in that group were just beautiful to me. And overall, it was just, it's just a really humbling and nice experience. And although I don't ever feel grateful well, I do feel grateful, but I probably didn't show gratitude in group because I'm that much like, I literally want to die in my seat when this kind of like, this stuff happens. And I'm saying this stuff, each time I get one of my awards, near like half stone awards, I die inside. I die. So it, I am getting better at it, but it does mortify me. And I'm glad that I'm making myself have that exposure all the time. So the like the little awards kill me. Um, it kills me as well. Do you know when they go around the room and they're like talking about what each person's lost and they congratulate them? Do you know when they clap my like losses? That is difficult for me. Um, it makes me die. I have massive anxiety about it. So can you imagine what this was? This nearly killed me in the seat, but I am glad I've done it and. I am just going to keep going and it's amazing and wonderful and I do actually want to say if anybody ever watches this that knows me, well it goes to my group really, I want to say a huge massive thank you to everybody in my group, Um, each person that's took time just to give me a hug or give me a squeeze or tell me it's okay or do you know when I put weight on when you've gone, it's fine, you'll sort it, you're doing amazing 
Um, there's a lady called Lillian. I'm going to name her. Um, I freaking love that woman. That woman, literally every time she's in that room, she speaks to me and it brightens my entire day. It gives me the focus for the next week. There's a lot of other people in that room that do that. Um, but her particular, like that woman is just, she's just beautiful. I just love her. And she's helped me so much. And there's like everybody else in that room has too. There's so many people that have helped in so many different ways. And I suppose if anybody ever sees this, I just wanted to say a huge, massive thank you for everything. I'm not used to people being that nice to me, I'm going to be honest. And it's really weird. Um, I suppose like now it might be a good time to say a thank you to like Angela if she ever sees this. Because what she's doing for me each week... <laughs> I don't think she realises just how important that is for me and how much that's like, it changes my life every week. Each pound that disappears and melts away. And she's lovely. And her groups are fantastic, actually. She does loads of them. She's a really good consultant. Um, <clears throat> I also, like, I'm really grateful to the first consultant that I went to. We had I had to move from that group, um, Caroline, because... I think because she started me off on my journey, I can't help but be like, have this massive gratitude for her because if she, like, if I'd not gone to her group and I'd not done it, then I, I wouldn't have carried on and I wouldn't be regaining each part of my life each bit at a time. So I know this is really emotional and a bit too soppy and a bit too over the top, but I am genuinely grateful for this journey that I'm on. I'm massively grateful and over the moon that I've got the greatest loser of this year. Um, I hope I keep losing and become more of a loser. Who would have thought I'd ever be happy to be a greatest loser? A big fat loser. Who would ever, ever think that? Um, and each person that has like touched on me each and every way, do you like just being supportive and things? I'm I'm just really humbled and I'm really, I just can't believe it. And I know I've rambled on now for ages, but it's mental. So here I am, the greatest loser. Woo! Big then. <laughs>